Hey everybody, uh, my name is Felix and I wanted to make a quick video about Delph. Uh, Delph is a debugger for Go and my use case for using it is to learn more about how Go works on a low level, how the runtime works, the compiler and all of that stuff. Um, one of my favorite features in Delph is examine memory because it lets me see the raw memory uh, layouts that Go uses to represent data. Um, but I found a little feature that I thought was missing, which is the ability to evaluate expressions. Um, and I've recently contributed this feature, uh, which is now available as an X flag um, if you install the latest version from source. Um, in this video, we're basically going to see what you can do with it and examine memory in general to explore data and go. Uh, the way we're going to do this is we're going to explore the raw memory layout of a slice. Um, all right, let's look at an example go file. What we get here is a file that is not doing much, but we've got a main and it's allocating a slice, uh, a slice of integer, and it has a uh, length of three and a capacity of eight. And then we're basically assigning three values here, four, five, and six. And that's pretty much it. So now let's do some debugging. Um, let's do delf debug uh, dot, because this is in a package, so we can just run it like that. Um, and now we can set a breakpoint like most debuggers let you set. So we say main.go um, line number eight. Uh, this is basically the end of our main function. Then we type in continue, which lets us execute the program to this point. And now we can explore the slice. Um, Delph has a few built-in functions. One of them is print. So we can do print s and we see, hey, this is an integer slice and it has uh, a length of three, a capacity of eight, and values four, five, six. Um, that's cool, but we want to go deeper. Uh, before we do that, just a quick recap what to expect. Um, in Go, a slice is basically a struct that is uh, that has three fields. The first field is a pointer to an array which holds the data of the slice. Then there is a field that holds the length, and then there is a field that holds the capacity. And all we're gonna to do today is to verify that this is really what the Go compiler has decided to do today. And that's what we find in memory. So let's do that. Um, my initial attempt to do this might have been something like examine memory uh, and then a pointer to our slice. But unfortunately that doesn't work and never worked in Delph. Uh, but now that there's this new X flag to evaluate expressions, you can do stuff like this. Um, now, what we get by default might not be what we want because this is only printing the first uh, byte that is at the address where our slice is stored in memory or our slice header to be specific. Um, so we have to del tell Delph a little bit more how we want to look at this. And we do this by saying that the size of each field in the slice is eight bytes because we're on 64 bit and the count of elements or fields that we're interested in is three. And when we do this, we can print out our slice header. Well, that's pretty cool. Here's our slice header. This looks like a pointer to somewhere, hopefully to an array of data. This is our length of the slice and this is our capacity of eight. Uh, cool. So now we can go even further and examine what's at the array uh, location by basically following this pointer here. And so we can do this, which actually this works without the X flag. Uh, I should show that. So this is how examine memory has always worked. Um, and you can see uh, that the values in memory are four, five, and six for our slice. And that is really cool. Um, but one thing that I really wanted was the ability to uh, navigate uh, memory addresses by saying I have an address and now I wanna see what's at an offset of eight bytes from that address, for example. So I wanted the ability to say, hey, what's at this address plus eight? Um, this previously did not work, but now with the X flag it works. Um, and when we do that, we discover that the next element in the slice, which we haven't really increased the length yet to the point where we can access it, but the memory has already been allocated, we can see that the value of this is zero, uh, which I think the Go compiler would be free to put anything in memory here until we decide to use it. Uh, I don't think the language spec says anything, uh, but it happens to be zero right now. Um, and yeah, originally this plus eight feature was the only thing that I wanted to implement. That's why I added this X flag. But then the fact that you can also now pass a uh, pointer expression uh, is a happy accident in the way the pull request turned out. And I think it's a super useful one. Um, 
But of course, one thing I want to say here is for this particular use case, navigating the memory by saying plus eight might not be the best way. What you would really want to do is you want to just increase the count to all the eight elements that are in the array. And then you can see it's four, five, six, and then all the other values are zero, uh, which is much simpler. So yeah, I don't know if this is useful for everybody, but if you are trying to dig around into low level Go memory layout stuff and similar, uh, I use this for walking the stack and figuring out stack layouts, then you might enjoy this. Um, if you do, let me know. Um, thanks for watching.